Welcome to the History Hunter, welcome to our small adventures with the World War II Time Frame Christmas Edition. I promised you greatness, I promised you a competition. We're going to watch a very, very special location today. I'm, I'm, I'm just so happy that I'm going to share something really, really rare with you. That's going to be after this little introduction. As I promised, we're going to have a competition. This is the first prize of this competition. Hope you're going to enjoy that as your original German Panzer Tracklink. This is a um, little model just to show off uh, kind of the relationship between these pieces. We have this one as a cartridge it's blown up from the German trenches and dugouts in the area. And we have a German button and barbed wire from the fence systems that it barely managed to put up there. And where is it from? Well, we call it Panzer Forest. The Red Army was storming in from the east trying to get rid of the Germans on their way to Berlin. In this forest there were a few panzers and actually SS troops, they gathered, they recollected and they didn't know what to do and then boom everything just was blown up by the Red Army and a lot of these things here was just obliterated in the forest and that's why we find these pieces here. So what you're going to do, you're going to watch the video unfold, in the end of the video you'll get a competition um, detail and you I will promise you this is gonna be tough, hard, but for the few that takes part, that will be on a list and I make a draw and on that draw will be made on the um, 1st or 2nd of January, so you can participate all the way until that. Um, these people here, they fought, or the soldiers fought very hard in that area, so if they had it hard, well you're gonna have it hard as well try and figure out the puzzle because it's a word puzzle and I'm going to show you how you're going to find the, the letters and it's going to be something very special that you've never seen before and uh, best of luck to the winner. So in the end of the video you can check it out so watch the video in full and uh, you'll get it from there. So let's go out now and uh, find this little unique location that we found. Uh, we've never seen anything like it and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Welcome to the History Hunter. Welcome to our small adventures with the World War II time frame. Me and Eagle Eyes out on this fantastic road trip. We are discovering things left and right and we are sharing with all of you out here. Now out in the fields looking for something spectacular and we're gonna take along on a journey back into time. So let's go out there and find the past together. Oh, I'm so excited. This road trip has been so fun. Eagle Eye is down there. I have to find them, but this place has gotten a fantastic feature and I've never seen it. I've never seen any of this, so I'm looking so much forward to show you this particular item on the Atlantic Wall. The main target of this expedition is actually in the field, but we wanted to see if there are things yeah that is probably a running trench going here but the thing is after the war farmers filled up the fields almost like a meter and a lot of the details that we were, were expecting to find we cannot find them they're not there anymore well, I will show you a fantastic photograph of the specific position see that all of that is here but the main structure is here and we will definitely find that. But there is nothing here in the forest for us to see. So we're gonna continue into the field. Oh, sorry, there's nothing here in the forest to see. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm a bit tired. A lot of things been happening today. We got lost and almost, I almost damaged my foot very, very seriously. I was so lucky, but I can see the first structure that we're looking for is going to be right over there. That is the only remaining structure building. Except from the huge that we're going to show you in a very short time now. That thing there is just phenomenal strong, thick walled. And I'm basically just going to go down there and have a look. This is got nothing to do with this huge thing but I'm suspecting that the farmers took advantage of this after the war that's why it's not torn down but they're very difficult to remove <laughs> heavy to be reinforced um, I don't know 
Seems like there are cow crap inside. Absolutely nothing but an empty room. But that could be anything. A generator room, storage room for fuel or munition, supplies, garage for a pack cannon or gun. You name it, I couldn't tell you. It's too bad there are so few items or details to see here today. This is one of them, but oh my lord, there were so many things here during those days. an incredible view out there into the ocean. The sun is kind of setting. Fantastic uh, atmosphere here. Just loving it. I wish you were here. But at least we can share it with you. Too bad there was over one and a half kilometers of trenches here. That's basically the only still left. And the trench line runs, you can see it here, right here. That is too bad because the trenches are very fascinating. They're such intricate uh, pieces of art that the Germans had a very strict structure of how they built it. But you can see trench just running here. I wish there were more of that so we can have a look at that, but there isn't. That is really fading away, but there it is. That is just pure magic. What are we looking at? Well, something pretty spectacular and very, very rare. This is a genuine German Wassermann Radar Bunker. And uh, it is absolutely incredible. All the details that are there are not there today, of course, but I will go in with you and I'll show you something really spectacular. The Wassermann radar was a early warning radar system. Uh, this one was made in the beginning of 42 and it was a development of the FUMG uh, 80 Freya radar and it could turn around like 360 degree. It had a range of, uh, if the aircraft was coming in about 50 meter altitude, they could spot that aircraft about 35 kilometers away. And if the aircraft was like in 6,000 meters height, you can spot them like 190 kilometers away. That is just insane. So this is a very heavy fortified bunker with several meter thick roof and walls. And we are going to go inside and have a look. I found some photos on the net, so you can kind of get a grip of what this is. These are Wassermann bunkers. And this is an image of one of the antenna arrays. Also, I found a drawing. You can see that here. It's a huge, very, very big, like 40 meter high, 20 meters wide thing. And this is what it looked like. So imagine what you see here. A huge bunker fully dug down and you have this enormous antenna array or radar that is what was there so if you imagine that massive thing there that would actually come to the side there so the light is fading away pretty quick here so we are definitely gonna have a quick quick look outside and then we're gonna go inside a Wasserman radar bunker from the Germans. Wow, that's exactly the spot where the huge Wassermann radar array was attached. It's like a massive foundation with these huge steel bars holding it up. But inside here is a special chamber where the mount on the bottom is. And I really, really want to show you that. That is impressive. I'm guessing this is probably a, a emergency exit where the crew could come up. And this part of the bunker is basically um, just the room where they had the Wasserman bunker attached down into the bunker itself. And take into consideration this thing being 40 meters high. Just imagine how rigid that thing must have been. And this base here is basically what that did. It kind of attach that bunker straight into the uh, arrangement of all the electrical stuff and things like that in the ground. The rest of the bunker is absolutely huge. Uh, you can see this 
mastodont of a bunker. I don't, I'm not sure what this pipe stuff is all about. It's nothing that has been here since the war, but uh, how wow. And the thickness of the walls here. See the, that is incredible. See how the salt has totally made that valve almost disappear. See that, all the salts coming out of the concrete. You can actually see a cable running up here. Wow, I'm really looking forward to this. And check out the thickness of the roof there. All of that, that's more than one and a half meter. But let's go inside and check this Wasserman bunker out a little bit. All right, we have the O-lights here, helping us out tremendously well. Always carry them. There's one of the uh, heavy duty doors. Actually, the original, is it? Yeah, it looks like the original ventilation is here. Let's go inside here, have a look. Seems like they did something strange here. That's kind of right outside. Strange. Something took place here. What is that all about? There's actually a room inside here, but... Uh -huh. What is that? That's very strange. So, I'm going to have a look. What is that? That is obviously sealed off. <laughs> and let's go inside here. But let me show you something. See, the roof is like here. It's just like 80 centimeters above my head. I'm like 180 height so that means on top here there's at least one and a half to two meter thick um, roof inside walls are impressively thick as well so what's in here then wow that's a surprise it's just a room within the bunker very very small there's a out that there and uh, out that there and the original cables are still hanging down from the wall there wow all right let's see if we can continue in here oh it is big yeah i do think that's the original ventilation on the top there Again, see how incredible thick both the walls are. And you see the wall going out? That is like over two meter thickness. That is just wild. So we're in a genuine Wasserman bunker. And that is so, so rare. That is very, very special. Oh, that looks like a generator room, to be honest. Yeah, there's an opening there. And there's a room here, with, look at that, the original pipe, very often designed like that to root the air more quieter through the pipes here. Let me see if there's something else there. There's also a pipe up here. So that probably came down. But the original pipe from the bunker ventilation right there. That is so cool connections here cables everywhere also in the roof here ventilation what is that that oh it's just well it's actually bricked inside that's interesting all right there's another room here again i'm not claustrophobic but i know how much concrete is on top on, on top there and you see the wood there, that's the original wood being lined up. You can see the scribe marks of what and where to put that. Very detailed. Some kind of ventilation going on there. What is this thing here? Oh, this is a shutter where you could stay. And uh, it's very dry in here. This little fella, what is that? Is that a butterfly? I couldn't tell you. The shutter here was used to keep people out, and if you were enemy, well, 
I just kept firing at you out that little shot of there. Still there, beautiful detail. My son has opted not to go in, but I can't, I cannot go this far and not show you the very, very special room in the back there. But it's all bricked up with bricks and that is very, very strange. And it's actually concrete bricks, so. All right, I've checked the water. Seems like I can get through there without getting too wet. If I will get too wet, well, too bad. Okay, here I go. Oh, no, 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 oh, there's the emergency exit. Ah, oh, come on, this is too deep. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> but we are, we made it, we made it. Right here is something really special. I'm just gonna switch the light to a higher kind of uh, power level here. Let me see if I can do that. There we are. Right there, there is the base. Oh, come on, I don't care. Let's go in there. Look at that. That is the base of the Wasserman bunk, uh, um, antenna. And the thing that we saw up there, I'm not going to go in there. That is very, very deep. Up there is where the foundation to hold it steady is. You see this heavy duty reinforced steel bars everywhere. And that was needed. And this tower is heavily reinforced. And if you check up here, that's the original single cable, I guess, going into the Wasserman chamber. And right there is the bottom that held it. It's extremely heavy duty secured into the bottom there. It's filled with water now, that's too bad. But that is just fantastic to see. I'm guessing you've never seen that before, neither have I. So what a treat to see that steel construction still there. You can see it's been cut, torched off during or after the war. I would have given so much to see that Wasserman thing actually standing there. And I think I can actually see a huge piece of the bar in the back there, a separate piece. That would be great to have. But it's pretty deep, so it's not gonna go in there. And I can feel the water come in. My boots, how cool. <laughs> but this is one in a lifetime, I think. And I'm so glad I managed to share this fantastic feature with you. That is just amazing. You won't see that too many places. Just incredible incredible structure from the past and it's like a dinosaur coming back at you and uh, wow i'm so happy that we managed to share this incredible uh, wasserman bunker with you i've never seen anything like it and i probably never will and we were lucky to share it with all of you all right i hope you enjoyed that we thoroughly enjoyed that it was a special treat to see that intense uh, bunker with the uh, antenna array that in that is just fantastic well promised you competition and here it is what you're gonna do you're gonna look for a uh, set of uh, letters several letters you're gonna puzzle them together and when you puzzle them together you are going to mail me that word that you find it's actually a battlefield location and how you're gonna do it well you're gonna in one of my videos, I have about 200 videos, I'm gonna put a little line of um, the letters that you have to rumble around to find the right uh, combination to find the battlefield. And you're gonna find that in one of my video descriptions. So you're also gonna find my um, email, which is this thing here. This is where you're gonna send your uh, answer. And I will only put you on the list if you have mailed me and if you have the correct um, battlefield location. So it's gonna be tough. I have 200 videos. It's just the smartest that will find out where to find those letters. And you have to rumble them together, put them into a correct word of a battlefield location, mail it to me until the 1st of uh, January, you can participate and absolutely everyone can participate. My patrons and PayPal supporters, regular viewers, you know, commenters, 
it's all up to you if you want to take part. So only mail answers, only the uh, battlefield location, and in the end, I'll make a draw in the next giveaway video. And let's see who the lucky owner will be. So best of luck to you, and uh, hopefully someone will be able to figure it out. Other than that, you can support my work either by becoming a patron or PayPal supporter. We do a lot of research, we do a lot of travel, we do a lot of things that takes a lot of time. And with your kind donations and support, we can go out and do even more. So that's it for now. Stay safe, keep smiling. Merry, Merry Christmas to you all and a maximum Happy New Year to you all. And I'll see you out there in the next adventure. And don't forget, you can participate in the competition all the way until the 1st of January 2020. And I'll give you a winner in the uh, first upcoming giveaway videos, probably around 2nd or 3rd of January. Best of luck and bye-bye.